Hi girlies. So recently I've been going live so much on TikTok and I've been getting so many questions on how I do my makeup and if I can do more get ready with me based videos on like my everyday makeup. I personally think that I have perfected my base makeup. It took a lot of trial and error but we got there so let's get into it. Okay so for base I honestly just do my everyday morning skincare, my ordinary serums and just like a really thick moisturizer. My favorite is usually the Walita skin food. It's like a really thick green. It's so good for dry skin. So I think the main key to having a flawless base is moisturizing as much as you possibly can before you start your makeup. As much as I hate to say it, this product can break you out. It depends on your skin type, but I use the Emco Beauty Flawless Glow. It is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. I use it every once in a while. My makeup gets the most compliments when I do use it. So we're gonna use it today. I do my makeup in such a weird order. Like I do my eyebrows last. I don't know why I do it like that. I forget when it comes to my brows. But anyways, we're leaving them to last because this is my everyday makeup routine. And so I'm gonna give the exact steps. Then I go in with the Life Proof Second Skin Foundation from Mecca. It's in shade 170. It's running out. Please don't judge me, but I literally go like this. I also use the Emco Beauty dupes of the bronzing drops from Drunk Elephant, and I just literally put three little drops. Two on my cheeks, and then one on my forehead. And literally, that is enough. This stuff, a little goes... A really long way and then just to, like set an extra glow in I'll go in with my Charlotte Tilbury and give my face a little spritz it smells like cheeseburgers what bro what are you talking about man I don't know why that's the vibe I okay someone please tell me that you relate because I swear it does but guys you're gonna be so proud of me because my camera I poke myself in the eye <laughs> Oh my god guys this stupid brush look at that it looks like a hedgehog like oh my god that actually freaking hurt <sighs> okay cut we're coming back <laughs> anyways it's so ironic that you guys think i have this like glamorous foundation routine but it's really nothing amazing anyways what i was gonna say is you guys would be so proud of me because guess whose camera is not gonna die or nearly die this video mine oh! <laughs> because I charged it. Isn't that a miracle? And I was like, you know what? We're not gonna rush into this video. We're gonna be patient girlies and we're gonna wait for my camera to fully charge so then I can just yap and yap and yap and do my little makeup routine and not have to worry that my camera is gonna die. Everyone clap. Okay. Also guys, what do we think of this new hair era? I kind of think, what the f I kind of think it's a vibe. I'm loving my long hair. I don't think I'll ever take my extensions out. This is the best concealer of all time. Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. It is a very, very thick coverage. And it's also a really creamy formula. Like, I feel like it doesn't dry your skin out. So I recommend it's in the shade Swan. So I just go under my eyes and then I do this little line here to kind of like lift my eyes. And I just do it here on my forehead just like that. First, I like messily blend in with a concealer brush. This is the Morphe 2 concealer brush. It doesn't matter if it's messy because we're gonna go over it with a beauty blender anyways, but I like to lift the corners of my eyes upwards. Using a brush for your under eye concealer is really, really great because it gets into the places where you just can't with a beauty blender. Then I get my trusty, dusty little beauty blender and we blend over the top. Do you ever think about someone and then they message you? Because that just happened to me and I'm like fully wigged out right now. After I've blended my concealer out, I just get my little powder puff and I'm sure there's already powder left over. But just to avoid any creasing, I just pat really close under my eyes. So for contour, I use a cream contour. I like to use all my cream products first. I use the Huda Beauty Medium Tantor Bronzing Cream. I just try to like tap it into my skin and follow that three guideline where it's like your forehead, your cheekbone, and then your jaw. I think I have come to the conclusion that I need to ban sugar out of my life. For those of you who don't know, if you're new here, I'm intolerant to sugar. It's not like an allergy, but it can make me really, really, really sick. Feeling sick and damaging your body is not worth 
the five minute happiness you get from sugar and I, I just can't keep doing it to my body like I'm literally poisoning myself and it's damaging like if you have an intolerance to something you really should not be eating it it's just like oh it's the worst thing to have an intolerance to once I've done my bronzer I get the rare beauty liquid blush this is the shade happy a little goes such a long way I do like two little dots here one on my nose I've been loving the sunburnt look recently I just blend it with the bottom end of my beauty blender I aim to get my blush between the gap of my concealer and my bronzer like right in the middle and I like to blend my concealer more towards the outer parts of my face because it gives you more of a lifted look than just like here but everybody's face is different you just have to work out what looks best on you you can never go too overboard with the blush because why does blush vanish from my face every time I go out it's like the blush is like gone off my face so I don't like to cream contour my nose it's splotchy it's messy it's not cute so I go in with my Kylie Cosmetics pressed bronzing powder it's in the shade toasty and I get like a little round ovular brush like this and then I literally if you look at yourself in the mirror you can almost see like imaginary lines in your head of where you want the contour to go so I just like picture those lines like I kind of like make like a little shadow you can make like a cute little button shape if you go like this and then underneath okay again I get my little MK Beauty powder puff and I just like tap it in make sure it's not anything crazy I don't like really harsh lines that's another thing to a flawless face you don't want to get harsh lines on your face because that's when it starts to look a little much okay powder I use the Huda Beauty pound cake powder it smells like perfume so I get my powder puff again and I literally just go all under my eye it just blurs your skin like look at that give my nose that extra little snatch I reverse contour baking is so 2016 but when it comes to my nose best believe I'm baking it and then for my cheekbones and I let it sit while I do my bronzer on the rest of my face and I get my big little blending brush when I bronze my face I try and think of where the Sun would hit my face the most okay my favorite part lashes I try and get as close to the root of my lashes as possible if your eyes aren't popping out when you curl your lashes and you're doing it wrong I prefer to do one eye at a time this is the telescopic L'Oreal mascara like look at the difference that makes and then I do this eye. So pretty. But literally got this from Amazon. My blush I use, of course, Kylie. I use the pressed blush powder in shade Pink Power. Again, I go in between where my concealer and my bronzer sit. Some of my nose. My lip combo gets the most questions probably out of my whole makeup routine. My lip combo is, of course, Kylie. This does not move off my face. I can go a whole 12 hour day without having to ever retouch my lips. Yeah, so it is in shade Kylie, pretty easy to remember. I overline the crap out of my lips. I go over my cupid's bow. I just follow the shadows on my bottom lip. I'm very picky when it comes to lips. One of my best friends, Ayla, is a makeup artist. She was like doing my makeup and I was like, Ayla, I have to do my own lips. Like I'm so picky when it comes to my lips. I'm just a PSA to any makeup artist who want to do my makeup. I'm doing my lips. Then I use the matte lipstick. It's the same Kylie shade. And then if I feel like it needs a little bit of a brighten up, I get my concealer again and I put the tiniest bit in the middle of my lips. And I just blend that in. Sorry, I don't mean to flip you off. That's so rude of me. And then I get my lip oil from MK Beauty. I feel like it lasts so much longer than just a regular lip gloss. So gross. It did not look like this when I got it. And then I just combine all of that together. It makes the prettiest lip combo. Getting one of my big brushes, I just brush away the excess powder. Another little recent thing of mine that I've been obsessed with lately is adding freckles. I literally used this brow pomade that ended up being too light for my brows. And I spritz a little bit in there with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I take a sharp edged brush like that. And then I just add freckles, little ones everywhere. 
It's okay if they look crazy big at first. Move when I blend them in with my finger and almost like separate and make more little freckles. Put it on where the sides of my nose where I've contoured to give it an even more contoured look. And then I just blend them in with my finger. Another hack I've learned is that when you have really bad spots or like one really big spot in particular, you can just put a little freckle over the top and disguise it. Such a good hack. I've also been obsessed with brown eyeliner recently. So I literally get my James Charles palette that I got when I was like 10. And I use this shade here, the same sort of angled brush. And then I add my little wing and it's as simple as that. Like from the lower lash line upwards. And then I just do like a little triangle. Just like that. Okay, so for brows, I use just a clear brow gel and brush them up. With this little flat brush like this, I get some brown eyeshadow. Same shade that I use on my eyeliner. And I just fill in any gaps. And I also like to fill in the front of my brows to make them more symmetrical. The last step, of course, we get my little, what do we call it? Spritzer. And I spritz my face. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I swear it smells like cheeseburgers. It's like, I swear to you. And here is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this gave you more of an insight on my everyday makeup. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My apps will be on the screen. Of course, they're always in my description if you want to look there too. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you loved it. Bye.